How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. Before we hop in today's video, I just got something in the mail that I wanna show you guys. That is right, today we are gonna be partnering up with Simply Safe. I'm very, very excited about this collab for a couple reasons. Number one, because I am gone all the time and I'm always worried about something happening to my house or my apartment when I'm gone and I just need peace of mind. So I'm happy that they wanted to partner up because now I'm never gonna have to worry about someone breaking in or something just really dumb happening. And for those of you that don't know what Simply Safe is, it's basically America's number one home security system. So as you guys can see, Simply Safe decided to send me a freaking care package of everything. We got a carbon monoxide detector, we got sirens, we got smoke detectors, we got these motion things. We have yard sign stakes. Oh my gosh, they literally thought of everything. We got a bunch of cameras as well. Just look at all this stuff. And then over here, we got the home base. And as you can see, I have the app pulled up and I'm trying to set everything up right now, which I wanna show you guys a little bit about the setup process using the app. It's really nice because it's all wireless. And then I wanna kinda of go over a few features on some of the things that you can attach to the home base. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start setting up a couple things here, and I just wanna show you guys how easy it's actually gonna be. This is the home station right here. You wanna put this kind of centralized inside of your house, and Paisley's coming over here to say hi. Say hi to the camera, Paisley. We're making it so no one's gonna break in and steal you. I would hate if someone stole you. That'd be bad. All right, so this is a motion detector. And what you wanna do, you have to remove this so you can activate the batteries. There we go. And it has adhesive on the back so you can place them anywhere in the house or whatever you're feeling. Now, I'm gonna open up my app here and go to the motion tablet right here. It says pull out the little thing that we just pulled out. So we did that. And uh, it says to push this button, the setup button. Motion sensor. Added. Did you see how easy that was? That was so easy. Now on here it says find a corner or a shelf to place your motion sensor. All right, so let's find a place to put this bad boy. It says to put this about four to five feet off the ground so you know paisley or dogs or cats don't trip them all the time. Um, it has the adhesive on the back. And I'm not really sure exactly where I want this one so right now I'm thinking I'm just going to put it, we'll put it in the living room right here just to see you know, how that goes. But eventually I will find a permanent place for it and use the adhesive, but it's over there right now and it is pretty much ready to go. It's that easy. It took like two seconds to set that up and anybody could do that. So I'm gonna name this living room. It says updating device name and it says, okay, your living room motion sensor is ready to detect. Next, that's awesome. So if you look at the bottom of your screen, it says how many things you have installed and one of these is installed right there. That is so cool. Okay, so I just got done getting everything set up, um, everything in between sirens, CO2 detectors, smoke detectors, outdoor cameras, indoor cameras, everything. Took me like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, so setup was super easy. And uh, one thing I wanna show you that I'm super, super pumped about is a inside live camera. So this could be super handy, say, if you just have a newborn and you wanna check up on it here and there. You can literally open up your phone, say you're at work and you wanna make sure your husband or wife is taking care of something they're supposed to be taking care of, like the dog or the baby, you can check in on them and look at the live feed. So let's give it a little example here. Oh yeah, look at that thing. It looks very sexy and like I was saying, you can put this wherever you want and then we're gonna go over to our phone all right, so we're gonna check this bad boy up. We open up the app right here, as you guys can see, and you click this little button that says watch live, and it says connecting, and then bam, look at us. There's me and Paisley. That is so cool. And you can even get sound off of it, so this might be a little confusing for you guys. And there's a little microphone right here. If you hold it, you can speak in there and talk. Oh, I can hear myself. Hey, Paisley. Good girl, you're a good girl, Paisley. Yeah, this is really cool. 
So since Simply Safe is a professional monitoring service, you guys don't have to worry in case there was an emergency, they could dispatch firefighters or police or whatever you guys need. Now that I have everything linked to the home base station and ready to go, I feel way better about leaving this house when I go hunting or fishing or any big trips. I can always check up on what's going on here and make sure my girl Paisley is staying safe. Isn't that right, Paisley? I can make sure you're staying nice and safe. That's a good girl. So guys, if you wanna check out Simply Safe, I'll leave a link down below. If you click that link, you guys can actually save 20% off when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan, and you'll also get your first month free. So definitely make sure to check out the link down in the description. Again, guys, huge shout out to Simply Safe for helping out today's video. And with that being said, we're gonna hop right into today's video. What? And dude, are you just trying to be stereotypical right now? I'm from Wisconsin, man. Well, what is going on, guys? And welcome back to the channel. You know, I'm still in Wisconsin. Still filming off that iPhone. Still filming off the iPhone. Um, I filmed a video a couple days ago, but all that footage is gone because my camera took a big fat dump in the river. So if you're fishing by the Fox Dam, uh, you know, you can snag a little camera. Let me know in the comments down below because that is my camera. Rest in peace. I dropped it in there my third time, but we're out here today. I'm going to be fishing with my good buddy Cody S guide, big guide guy now. Check him out in link below to book a trip and we're going to do some fishing today. All right. Uh, tomorrow we're also doing fishing and I want to, you know, kind of stay in this area so I don't have a long jaunt back to the boat ramp. So we're going to do truck camping later in today's video. So you're gonna get a little bit of everything, a little bit of truck camping, a little bit of fishing, and we're gonna start the day off doing some fishing. Beautiful day out here. It was supposed to be blowing like Bill Lowen, but you know, it's actually not that bad right now. So hopefully we get out some fish, and hopefully the truck can't sustain myself sleeping in the back of it. Stay tuned guys, it's gonna be a good one. All right, fellas, we're finally gonna start fishing here. It is about noon, so we're getting a little late start today, but that's all right. I forgot my rod, so shout out to Cody for providing me a rod. If you guys come out with him, he has rods too, so no worries. But I'm going to start out using this blade bait. I got a silver and plum color one. Hopefully, that's going to do the trick. I believe it's a 3 8 ounce, so not too heavy, not too light. Going to see if it works, but it's a little bit... The water is a lot more stained than it was last time. Last time, it was clear for the river. But this time it is not that case and it is a little bit colder out but we got some fish marked and we're fishing eight feet of water 40 degrees we're gonna see if we can make something happen oh i'm gonna fish for once fish on both sides now really Making us work for it, Cody. Oh. Oh, good. I don't know if this is the right species, Cody. I don't know if it's the right species. Nah, I mean, maybe. This is a white fish, I think. Ah, uh, well, fellas, first fish of the trip, little sheephead. Not the uh, correct species, but it's a start. These fish are definitely going to make us work for it today. You can already tell it's going to be one of those days.
Okay, that was weird. I guess I have a fish, brother. I said, I guess I have a fish, brother. Feels pretty heavy, brother. Yeah, I don't know if it's a whale eye, though. It hit me like it slack lined me, dude. Really? I didn't know I had them. Yeah. And it very well could be a walleye. I mean, if it's a walleye, it's pretty big. I but know. I don't think it's a walleye. Don't think? No. Have you ever been walleye? Yes. I'm, a th I'm saying, I'm thinking carp. No, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting carp vibes, brother. If it's a big walleye, that would be lit. Carp would have you halfway to Narnia right now. So it's definitely not a carp. Well, if it is a walleye, it's pretty nice. It's a walleye. Is it? Yeah. I shall throw the net, John. It is a walleye, John. Let's go. Let's go. That's a go. nice one, dude. <laughs> dude, that one slack line the heck out of me, Cody. Bro, look at that. I, I, didn't, I didn't know I had him for the longest time, that dude. That is a heck of a fish, dude. <laughs> That one just, that one had to have came in from the lake. Look how pale it is. Dude, that thing is so fat, brother. Swift, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I was like, ah, I think it's a, I think it's a carp. I don't know. It felt so heavy. I'll film it on my camera. Yeah. Well, fellas, I caught a dandy. Look at that. Nice little 23 chunker. This is definitely, uh, it came from the bay. So Cody was telling me how pale it is, as you can see. Uh, that kind of sig signifies that it came out there. The local fish are more gold, and you can tell that they've been in the water longer uh, in this area. But this is definitely a paler fish, and I am thinking it's a nice little Green Bay Lake Michigan walleye. Very nice, just pushed up here. Cold water temps, crush the blade bait. I actually didn't even know I had him for a while because he slacklined me. It was super weird, but beautiful fish. We're gonna get some pictures and get it back in the water. All right, beautiful beast. Going back, I love holding these big fishes. Give me some Cody, let's go. You shout out to Cody for bringing me out. Again, if you guys wanna check him out, he'll be linked down below. He runs strips here and on the lower bay. Definitely got to book him, man. Oh, I got a bad feeling about that one. So do I. Oh, oh, oh good. Good, that is good. Good. <laughs> We're cracked. Cracked on the catfish. Though, so. Stay out of the mode. What do you think you got? I also not the right species. Dude, all the head-to-head -head people are like, these guys are cracked. Yeah. Nice brother. Trying not to kill my form. These are just tank walleyes. This is a walleye I might be in some way. Save. I literally don't even want to. Holy catfish, dude. Yeah. Bro. Mine's a kitty. We shall do a catfish catfish. We shall. Damn, that's kind of a fat cat, low key. That is so fat, dude. Why is that so fat? 
We on that kitty ground, boys. <laughs> Dude, did you see how fat that? That's like my biggest channel, that probably. Is huge. <laughs> that low key. <laughs> Holy fish on the your side. Look at them suspenders. We love that. Come on, kitty. Kitties, baby. Oh, yeah. Like, it felt like a f log, dude. Did you guys snag any catfish yesterday? Yes. Three. Or two. Over by the. Over there? Yeah. Oh! Dude. Dude, 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 dude. This one bit it. Really? Yes. This thing crushed it. This is huge. Oh, my God. This thing is massive. <laughs> the gold kitty? I. It, it, it bit it, dude. So you're saying it's a walleye? I don't know, but it, I felt the bite and it was absolutely insane, Cody. Well, this It felt like a kitty bite, but oh, oh my God, dude. It was like the biggest chomp. I, I, I was scared, dude. I do like it was literally the biggest chomp I've ever felt in my life, brother. Cody, what if this is a big walleye, though? Hold up, too. Because he ate it. He, I Shall felt. I the, grab the net? Uh, well, whatever this is, there is going to have to be a net involved. Dude, he bit the crap out of it. Is this thing is super heavy. No, I mean, no, probably not. It's probably a catfish. But this, I mean, he, he full on ate it, dude. Well, like, chomped see. it. I do like the sound of that. He's wrapped, dude. He's wrapped. Yeah, I feel him unwrapping sometimes. God, this thing just absolutely destroyed it, dude. Yeah, like, like oh, yeah. it like wrapped. It's looking like a kitty. It's, this thing is heavy as hell. It's definitely a kitty. Catfish are spawning. I'm gonna be hyped though, dude. What if it's a walleye? Man? It, it felt like it ate it. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. Dude, he you see, I told you he it. ate it. He chomped it, bro. <laughs> he freaking ate it so Holy hard, dude. Crap, bro. <laughs> we on him, boys. <laughs> Down his freaking throat. I'm, I'm pretty scared right now, dude. Uh, I'm telling you, dude, it was the biggest chomp I've ever felt <laughs> in my life. It was a world. <laughs> Check it out. The old kitty chopped the blade bait. Second kitty of the day. Here we go, baby. Catfish City. Let's get it. I mean, I'm for sure smoking a catfish on this freaking cast. 100. Whether it eats it or whether it's snagged, it's it's getting caught. Do you know how excited I am? I'm ecstatic right now. You say something about catfish, Cody? Did, did you say something about catfish? What do you got? A kitty cat, baby. You actually? Oh, yeah. 
I literally said, I, I literally said, I said, I'm going to catch a catfish this first cast. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I'm freaking dialed on the cats today, man. This is unbelievable, dude. Dude, I am so dialed on these cats, it's unreal. I'm having a lot of fun. Like, the line's tight. It fights hard. You just can't complain, man. Let's freaking go. Dude, I, I'm telling you, they're, they're loaded in here. I'm, I'm gonna keep clapping kitties, man. I'm all, I'm all about the cats today, baby. Great content, people love it. <laughs> I'll get it myself. This might be a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a cat. Yeah, let's go, baby. Cats all day, boys. Cats all day. Get off, get off, get off. See you later, buddy. Let's freaking go. Cats? Let's go. The cats are dialed right now. Let's go. I love it. First cast, dude. Did he eat it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's really? A chicken of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Catfish catch and cook, Cody. Low key catfish videos get views though. Do they? Oh yeah. That's what Josh made his living on. Oh my god! <laughs> what the f <laughs> Holy crap, dude! <laughs> that dude, we're gonna need a bigger net, brother! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, this thing is huge. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, that is, that's just scary. Oh, there's no way. There's no way, dude. Here, grab the bigger I net. I shall dude. grab the bigger net. Come here, daddy. Oh, dude, that thing is massive. Oh my God. Look at the head on that thing. Well, uh, we're out here. That is a giant <sighs> kitty cat. Oh! <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Comment how big you think it is. Look, who's on our side? <sighs> oh my God, guys. <sighs> Look at this freaking tank that Cody just got. <laughs> Are you seeing this thing, dude? <laughs> this thing is freaking massive, boys. <laughs> This is the biggest channel I've ever held in my life. I'm pretty sure it's a channel. Oh my god. How the hell do you hold? Like how did it how do you like this? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. You, all right, you gotta take a picture with my camera. Sheesh! By far probably one of the biggest catfish I've ever caught. Definitely not something that I like to hold, but we're gonna go ahead, throw this thing back. Holy smokes, dude. <laughs> This thing is heavy. How heavy do you think it is? Dude, that's like 20 pounds, man. That oh. thing is heavy. Thanks for the sweet fight. Oh. Ah. That's what's swimming in here. I mean, we could pretty much catch one of those every cast if we wanted to. This is getting silly. The weather is not fun. Walleyes are far and few between right now, but the catfish bite is fire. <laughs> Well guys, we're gonna call it a night. Um, Cody and I literally just, yeah, it was not good. Besides that one big one that I caught early this morning right away, and then the catfish was fun. I ain't gonna cap, that was fun. Let me know in the comments if you guys liked that. But we are going to trailer the boat, pack up, and get going. And then I'm gonna go find a spot to camp. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been hey, maybe about an hour or so, hour and a half probably, 
and a lot of things happened. Number one, I stopped at a Best Buy and I picked up a new camera, as you guys can see here. Um, I had an awesome store manager come and help me. I forget his name, I think it might be Dan, but he came and helped me out and uh, he actually gave me a huge discount on the camera that you guys are seeing right now. It's a little bit of a downgrade. The camera body is a little bit of a downgrade from what I had before, but he said if I swing back in when they have the other one that I originally lost, uh, I could swap it. So I might do that, but huge shout out to you, huge shout out to Best Buy for kind of, you know, hooking me up. They didn't give me this for free, but they gave me a really nice discount, which I needed really bad. I wasn't expecting anything. So huge shout out to them, but we have made it to a cool little area. I found this on Google Maps and check it out. So you guys saw me drive in over there and then there's literally one house way over there, but just like an empty cul-de-sac. I mean, I don't really know why there's no houses like right there, right there, but this is pretty lit and this looks like it would be a super good spot to do some truck camping. I also stopped at the A&W right by the boat launch, so I'm not gonna be making any food tonight because I got full off of root beer, pretty much is what I'm saying, and a hamburger. So good on food, but I want to do something a little bit unique with this truck camping tonight. All right, so as you can see, there's a decent amount of light out and I don't wanna just go to bed right now, okay? Had a long, hard day on the water. It's time to kick back and relax. So I had to bring the Xbox. I've always wanted to test this out. I've never ran it on a Jackery. Um, I'm not even sure how long it's gonna last or if it's even gonna work, but we are gonna give it a try. Check out the setup. So basically I keep all of my truck camping stuff inside these things right here, as you guys saw. And then up here, you guys saw this in my last video, but I will go over it really quick in case you missed it. I got these foam pads on top of my deck system for kind of like a mattress. It's pretty nice, it's not bad. And then I lay this blanket on top of that. And then I have my really bougie sleeping bag along with a little pillow right there. And I will sleep this way because I do fit this way, but this way I do not fit. Then I got my Jackery right there, the Xbox, the old monitor, and obviously the controller. Okay, something is happening. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Oh, it's on. Turn this guy on. Ooh, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. It's actually working. Let's see how the Jackery is doing. Oh yeah. Oh, it's actually not putting out as many watts as I thought it was gonna put out. So that is good. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. We have power, we have everything working here. Time to see if I can load some Call of Duty Vanguard. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's working, this is lit. Guys, I can't believe it, but it's freaking working right now. We loaded up everything, the Jackery's holding up fine, and we're gonna see if we can get into a little multiplayer game. I don't have Wi-Fi, actually, I could hotspot it and play. That might be funny, but I didn't bring my headset, so. We're just gonna play some bots here. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty nice setup though, it's not bad. I am fully laid out. And then obviously the Xbox and this takes up a little room, but it's not too bad. And uh, multiplayer, say less, check it out. Oh my gosh. And we're just gonna start a little match here, a little team death match against bots. Hey man, it's not online, but you can't complain. If I wanted to, 
I could hook up my hotspot and play online, but as I was saying, I don't have my headset, so it'd kind of be worthless, but this is living the life. Oh, victory boys, let's go. Those bots are so bad, but I will take it. We'll take them like that. Oh man, well, as you can see, absolutely slaying out on some bots, which I should be. I'm still pretty bad at this game. I'm a big uh, Warzone guy, not a big team deathmatch or like multiplayer guy. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you guys game and let me know what games you guys do play if you do game. But we're just going to hang out here, play some more COD the rest of the night, and just have ourselves a grand old time. I don't know how much more I'm going to film just because, I mean, you guys get the point. I'm sitting here gaming and doing some truck camping. This is freaking awesome. And yeah, I don't know what else I would rather be doing because we caught some big catfish today. Caught some awesome, well I caught one really nice walleye and ending the day doing this freaking awesome. So I'm going to put the camera down, play some video games. And then probably watch a little YouTube on my phone and then go to bed. Nothing too crazy. If something crazy happens tonight, though, I will pick up the camera and vlog it. I think I chose a pretty nice spot, so no one's really going to be bugging me. Um, but if someone does, I will grab the camera and show you guys that. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. The next morning. Oh, man. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. It is around 9 a.m. And I just woke up, woke up kind of late. I slept really good last night. Yep, there she be. I actually brought in all of my game stuff last night before I went to bed, just so I could have more room to sprawl out. But the old truck camping setup did it again. I'm beginning to enjoy sleeping in this a lot more each time I spend it in there. Um, I still have to do a couple upgrades, but if you guys think of anything else that I should do to this, drop a comment down below. But I'm gonna get going. I have to go to the bathroom really bad. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to check out Cody. Make sure to check out Simply Safe. And make sure to have a great rest of your freaking day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will catch you guys on the next one.